Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we were looking for another quest to do, so I figured we might as well talk to this Mr. House right in here, the Lucky 38. Probably gonna have to leave Cass behind though, but that's how it's gonna go. Oh well. Alright. Well howdy partner. Let hey Victor. see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Thank you, Victor. I see you brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. Hey, nah, no problem. I'll head up myself. Come back soon now. Sounds good. Why am I talking Southern? <laughs> uh, it's something talking to Victor. It brings out the Tennessee drawl. Okay. Let's uh, get a move on then. So we gotta talk to, uh,. Victor again. The tits? Okay, I guess. Where to, partner? The penthouse, which is apparently the only option. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alrighty. Yep. Penthouse floor. Yep, that's where we're at. Okay, Jane. Well, Whoa, a little bit close up. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Sounds good. Uh, can you tell me about Mr. House? Why, Sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? Didn't realize robots could have such strong feelings about people. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside, my neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. So, you're a copy of a dead woman? <laughs> okay, what exactly do you do for Mr. House? Mr. House has a lot of needs, sugar. Yeah. I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Um, isn't House like hundreds of years old? I really don't want to think about that. Then maybe you shouldn't pry into a lady's particulars. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about Anything something else. Anything you like, sugar. That was my own fault, but I'm hating myself a little less, mainly because there's something I need to talk Not about. Not many people there we know go. this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. Is he? If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. Good. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you uh -huh. have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. Cool. Nice to know. Uh, I got a snow globe you for him. Do? I'm pretty sure oh, that's, that's a just good wonderful. spring ones. I'll take it good and play with the ones. rest of the collection. Put the plural in the wrong spot. Uh, what kind of robots are you? Why, I'm a Robco PDQ-88B Mark I Securitron, you silly goose. We're the finest in personal civil robotic security on the market. Silly goose. All right. If you want to say that. Uh, what can you tell me about New Vegas? Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? Uh, let's talk about the other attractions. Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here, but why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Oh, okay. and the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose, if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. Okay. Let's talk about and something else. Actually, let's uh, say goodbye to you. Rather silent. Goodbye. Okay. Uh house is somewhere in here uh snow globes uh she said there was one that was possibly empty whiskey bottles well i don't know how they're empty considering it's been a you know old man in here one would think that would have killed him but you know if it keeps him happy i guess a uh, snow globe collection he mentioned it because it, oh ow Hi there. Aren't you something? Okay, let's just go talk to him. But first, there's a thing I need to do 
to open up all the options that I can do for him in particular. I don't know where it is. But do I not have it? Do I not have one of those? No. No. God damn it. I needled it. Yeah. Where is it? I'm pretty sure we have one. Pretty sure. Science. I don't have any medical. Ah, uh, wait. <laughs> Got it. We're good. <laughs> I was looking in the wrong place. All right. Let's talk to you, Mr. House. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect figuratively as well. A little bit. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? It's city devo devoted to vice and sin. What's not to love? <laughs> oh, come now. Don't play the fool. Vegas has fools enough. A superfluity of them. They're what makes it so profitable. They Good come point. to Vegas chasing penny ante dreams of high living to feel like they're big shots, like they're winners. Mm. You see that you and I are of a different stripe, don't you? Yes. We don't have to dream yes, we that are. we're important. We are. Yes, that is very true. <laughs> I'm getting weird. Okay. <laughs> Why the VIP treatment? I'm just a courier. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. Okay, how did you know that? I mean, you're right, but how did you know that? Okay, let's get down to business then. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me, and I want it recovered. Okay. Simple enough. Seems simple enough. What do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. Great. When you I bring trust. the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. Whoa. How's that? 1,000 caps, so that divided by four. The original bonus was 250, and I agreed to take that job? You know, 1,000 caps is pretty fucking good. But it's a good start, but well below market price, considering how much you demand this. Very well. Five times the bonus. Not one cap more. Fair enough. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Yeah, I have plenty of questions. What did you wish to know? Well, for instance, tell me about yourself. Who exactly are you, Mr. House? I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the New Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three mm. families are my employees. Ah. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. You appear to be a computer, not a man. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. Just not here. The lifespan you're claiming is impossible except for ghouls and super mutants. I see you've made a study of the topic. My knowledge of the science of longevity would fill several textbooks. Perhaps after a decade or two of economic reconstruction, I can commercialize these technologies and offer them to others, such as yourself. That's an idea. How did you establish New Vegas? We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. Mm -hmm. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. Let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Like, for instance, how do I get to Benny? It won't be easy. Benny yeah. is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the Tops. There's an idea. 
The chairmen are your employees. Don't they take orders? It's more complicated than that. Okay. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Okay. Look for a man Family. named gotcha. Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. Good idea. I'm pretty sure I have a lighter on from him, as well as a cigarette butt, collected from outside my grave. Why can't you be the one to tell Swank? By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families, or if other extraordinary circumstances arise. The mm -hmm. moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. Yeah, that's very true. That's a, pretty much a big old red flag right there. Say I want to take a diplomatic approach. If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. Any ideas on how I could catch him off guard if the worst comes to that? Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. Good idea. Let's talk about what something else. else. Did you want to know? Like the platinum chip. It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Hey. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. I'm sure they will. However, the more I know about the chip, the easier I can find it. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. Good idea. If the chip's so valuable, why use a single courier to transport it? You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them dummies, so to speak. Ah. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. So much that Had I used for. an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I didn't True. want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Good point. Yeah, we've already been over that, so we can't what do that. What else did you want to know? Uh, tell me about Benny. Tell me about this bastard who shot me twice in the head. Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. Probably not. What use would have you had for a protege? To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain tasks. Ah. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, but I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Okay. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy. Yeah. But in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. Okay. I'll take that. Why did he betray you? I have to think that he found out about the platinum chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. Good point. I mean... Well, with the tribals in Zion, they had no understanding of how technology worked whatsoever. I mean, they were barely running, you know, pistols. And, uh, really the only one that had any larger understanding of tech was the White Legs, and they were using that brutally. Anyway, why didn't you intervene sooner when Benny ambushed me? Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Yeah. Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. Ah. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Okay. Victor's combat algorithms determine the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. Gotcha. Luckily, I was still alive. All right. What else did you want to know? Uh, 
what else do you have? The factions vying for New Vegas. It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but yeah. we'll hold off until the platinum chip has been recovered. What else did you want to know? You're you're not being straight with me on that. But fine. All right. Look, goodbye for now. Well enough. Be on your way. I will be, Mr. House. Thank you for the conversation. But first, we're going to look around. Stupid snow globe. Just for him. So we can make a little bit of extra scratch. Because why not, right? Why not? It's probably somewhere. Right. Yep. Oh, hey there. Hey there, buddy. Don't want to make you angry. Let's look over here. Uh, nothing. Is, is that what's supposed to be his bed? He clearly isn't sleeping in it, from the looks of it. Okay, let's go down here. Nope, still nothing. It's pretty much exactly the last place I searched earlier. Wait. Oh, I could have sworn that was Banana Yucca. <laughs> I was like, give me that! Good shit. Alright, now. Apparently not. Hey, Jane. Still haven't found that snow globe yet. I'm looking, though. Believe you me, I'm looking. But it's not easy. Okay, Victor. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to come you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends, too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cocktail lounge. I want to head down there. Simply because I want to... There's that. Cool beans. I want to see if I can find that snow globe. I really want to see if I can do that. Uh... Is it possibly up here? I see whiskey. Up, up, okay. Take all that. Because whiskey's good for me. Is that absinthe? That is absinthe. Fuck yeah, I'm taking that. Because why the fuck not? Oh, whiskey. Whiskey and whiskey only. Because whiskey, I can easily negate the bad effects of it with the Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Or Cass, as we know her. Alright, I want to see if we can find that thing. Apparently not. At all. At least not here. Um. Hmm. I want to see if we can easily find it on one of these tables. Because that seems like an easy place for it to be lost. What is this? Future weapons today and boxing times. I could sell some of those at least. Uh, let's just do a whole loop around the whole place. Just check just to check. Whoop. Briefcase. Alright. There we go. Well. That's not something I expected to find. Someone. Someone was intending something. I'm going to take that detonator. Take those rounds. Someone was intending to do something here. And they ended up dead. They ended up dead lid. Alright, is there anything else? Is there anything else? No, I'm pretty sure I did an entire loop around this whole place. Found nothing. That snow globe. Pretty sure. I'm just gonna do a couple more steps around. I'm fairly certain that there is nothing. Yep. There is nothing. Let's try here. Let's try a loop de loop around this area. Okay. Still nothing. Well, true police stories. I can sell that easily. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, well, we tried. What is this? I just realized I didn't check this. Uh, maybe in the presidential suite. Maybe. I mainly want to check out the swanky dicks. <laughs> Alright. 
Oh, there's Victor. Hey, Victor. Hey, look at this. Turn on the light. Nuka Cola. Hell yeah. Might as well carry all that because now we have room to do it. Uh, iron. Nope. Uh, desk. Nope. Desk. Nope. Okay. What is that? A buffalo gourd seed. Okay. Well, that's very useless to me. Okay. Let's check here. Hmm. Huh. What is this? Today's physician. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Oh! Oh! That was weird. That was weird. Phase right through. Okay. Well. There's the toilet. Yep. That's pretty fancy. That's fancy digs right there. And yep. Yep. There we go. Curtains covering it. Don't know why they decided to go with curtains. Uh, today's physician. Hey, there we go. Got another one. What's in here? Pre-war hat. I'll take that. And that because it's easy to repair my stuff with. That's my bed. Hey, that's my bed. Cool beans. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else around? Nope. Nope. Okay. I'm still trying to find that goddamn snow globe. Ugh. Where's the fucking snow globe? Where are the ever loving tits? Huh. Uh, nothing. I don't know what the hell that is. What is that? Future weapons today. Hey, and binoculars! Be useful if I wanted to have them. Oh, that's the good spring snow globe! Okay. And that's the Big Mountain and Zion National Park. Two of them that we've already visited thus far. Oh, up do. Okay. Got a couple new colas. Got. Huh. Got some stuff in here. Got some good stuff. Gecko steak. Fuck yeah. I was running out of those. And. Oh, I thought that was a snow globe. I was about to freak the fuck out. Uh, no. Nothing else. Big old dining room. Yeah. A bunch of our buddies. In fact, I'm thinking of making Cass stop in here. Thinking. I mean, it's easier to get her that way. Huh. Anyway, I did my little search through for the uh, snow globe there. Ended up not finding it. So I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank y'all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.